it would appear that I lied to you. I was wrong. I'm sorry. I had more faith in Bandai than I should have, apparently. That their announcements at Digimon Con weren't all that I thought they were. And it turns out we're getting less than I thought we were. I'm sorry to be the bear of bad news to anyone who came by the channel and was thinking that, you know, hey, we're getting something new and cool at the start of this month. No, you still gotta wait till the end of the month for Liberator for that because, um, yeah. Well, we're getting also some more cards at the end of the month. But the main thing that I'm here to tell you about and to apologize for is we are not getting part two of Digimon Dreamers. As I was talking about earlier this month and when they made that announcement at Digimon Con, it sure seemed like, hey, we're getting chapter two of Digimon Dreamers. And as you looked at the last page of Digimon Dreamers that we just got, it said end of part one. So it made sense we were getting part two and everything was going along nicely. Everybody was happy. But we can't have nice things here, especially being English viewers that don't speak Japanese. So what actually is going on? What really are we getting? Well, let me explain to you a little bit of what I found out now about what really is happening with Digimon Dreamers. So, as I said, it is not coming out. Digimon Dreamers Chapter Four, obviously, uh, Chapter Two did not obviously come out on April Fourth, like I thought it said at Digimon Con. Instead, what we got on April Fourth, even though it is still not announced on Digimon.net, Digimon Partners, or the Dream Digimon Dreamers part of the website. They just had the preview now of the three chapters. That's all that's there. And there's nothing to tell you to go, hey, we released this in a actual collection of a manga. Because, well, for us English or Chinese speakers, either one, because that's what we that's what they've been translating these things into, we get nothing. They are releasing it. Chapters 14 through 25 are being released or have been released, you can go and pre-order it right now for 594 yen or just a little under $4. Now, for most of us, shipping is what's going to kill us and not make us want to <laughs> possibly buy that, maybe. But the actual collection itself, that's a pretty reasonable amount for 208 pages. And that is the size it would be if it just contained those chapters of the manga. And it does not seem like from any publication that I have found so far that it contains any more pages than that. So there's nothing extra that you're getting there. Or some of the other ones have had little even bits and pieces of odd things that could be considered a little extra. This has absolutely nothing extra to it. And even some of the sites I've looked at are nearly sold out. Which, given what we've gotten from Digimon lately, the selling out of something seems really common. So have they not learned that people will buy their stuff and so they don't produce enough? Because we've had that issue with the, v the VPET, even though some of you, I'm sure you can still find it through third-party sites and other sites besides Premium Bandai. I'm sure it's still out there somewhere. But, once again, it's not in English. So there's nothing that we're getting there. And thus, from everything that I have read, it seems like even in one of the interviews that they gave, Digimon Dreamers is over that we're not getting another chapter. I mean, since, again, it ended on such a odd note, if it had ended with, with episode 25, I could have believed it was the end. But they went to episode 26 that had the password lock on it, introduced a new character in Balanel, and had all of this extra stuff with the password they now need. They added all of this extra stuff, like they certainly left it open like they expected to have more. So, is there more? Not yet. Not announced. Uh, we'll have to keep in touch and keep looking as fans and hope that there is more to it. But for the biggest part that I can tell is it's another story that was looking really promising that they've abandoned. One of their better stories that they've done in a long time and now they're just setting it aside. Hmm. Well, again, I apologize. I did get this one wrong. I will fully admit that. Um, I hoped it would have been better. We would have had more interesting news to give instead of just, hey, it was free and now you can't see it anymore. Because you still can't find it in English, so them taking it away from us Chinese and English speakers now just means there's no way we can officially go find it. <sighs> well, I, I, hope, I hope that clears up a few things about what's been going on with Digimon Dreamers. Uh, as I said, we're Guess we're just sitting around waiting another two weeks plus till Digimon 
Liberator comes out, and then we'll actually possibly have something to actually talk about. I mean, I wish there was more that was coming that I could praise and tell you about, but there really isn't. So I guess we'll keep this one pretty short. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to discuss it and find out more, you can always join the Discord. We'll talk over there. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, everyone, remember to be awesome. Till the next one, take care. Bye-bye.